Hello, I'm back again. My name is Rosananda and I'm from SMA Plus Negeri 17 Palembang. Actually, this video as usual is assignment from my teacher. But I hope this video might be helpful for you to understand the materials about wave behavior. So what are we going to discuss in this video? The first one we have wave introduction. I'm going to explain to you what is wave definition and example of wave. The second one is the main I, main topic in this video is wave behavior. And the last one is the closing or the end of the materials. The first one, wave introduction. I am sure you all have heard this word, but do you know what exactly is wave? So, wave is a disturbance that travels through a medium from one point to another point. But, they do not necessarily transfer any mass. The example of waves such as wave sound or maybe ocean wave. For water waves, the disturbance is in the surface of the water. An example of which is the disturbance created by a rope thrown into a pond or maybe by a swimmer splashing the water surface repeatedly. That's the short introduction of waves. And the second one is wave behavior. If you ever wonder how wave behave or maybe what is the characteristic of wave, here I'm gonna explain one by one. There are reflection, refraction, diffraction, interference, and Doppler effect is the last. The first one is reflection. Wave can be reflected at the boundary between two different materials. Reflection is when waves bunch off an object. It's including the sound and like. The reflection of sound causes echoes. Sound waves are reflected by hard plate surface like a wall. And this is why we get the echoes. In the law of reflection states, that the angel of incidence is equal to angel of reflection or in the simple way the origin waves are equal to its reflection for example if like ray hits a surface at 40 degree it will be reflected at 40 degree too we're moving to the next behavior refraction refraction is the change in direction of wave as it passes from one medium to another. Refraction is caused by the wave's change of speed. The speed of wave depends on the properties of the medium through which it travels. For example, sound travels much faster through water than through the air. When a wave enters at an angel a medium through which the speed would work, the wave is bent toward the perpendicular. But when a wave enters at an angel a medium in which its speed would be increased, the opposite effect will happen. I'll give you the simple example. This stick. When we see it in the air, we see that this is straight. But when we insert it into the, the water, it appears to be bent. This difference in appearance results from the light waves that permit us to see it moving at the different speeds through the water and the air. And next, diffraction. Diffraction is the spreading of waves around obstacle. It's property of all wave motion. When a wave encounter a small obstacle or small opening that is small compared with the wavelength of the wave, the wave can bend around the obstacle or pass through the opening and then spread out. This bending or spreading out is called diffraction. For instance, in sound waves, when you are in the row alley, you can still hear the sound at the end of the alley, such as the sound of a person who's calling you. This sound will spread to the place where are you standing. 
interference the waves from two or more centers of disturbance may reinforce each other in some direction and cancel each other for example we have a medium and then there are two incoming waves when they meet they will produce a combined waves this phenomenon is called by interference of waves it's actually quite easy to see how this may happen and there are two types of interference those are destructive interference and constructive interference what is that i'll explain those things in some example but first we have to know about superposition principle superposition principle states that when two or more waves overlap in space the resultant disturbance is equal to the algebraic sum of the individual disturbance okay we move to the first example destructive interference so we have two waves on the same medium the first wave is a class with the second wave in the form of trough the moment they meet they will reinforce or to cancel each other until it turn out like this they made a straight line this is called destructive interference how does that happen based on the superposition principle the deviation of the first and the second waves just needs to be added. We can assume that the crest is positive and the trough is negative. If we combine the positive and the negative, they will cancel each other out as long as they have the same frequency. The second one is constructive interference. It's the opposite meaning from destructive. When two waves come in the same shape of crust or trough from two opposite directions. When they meet, they will build each other waves even bigger from before. Like the superposition principle, we consider the crust as the positive. Then those crusts will produce a bigger amplitude. The last one is Doppler effect. When the source of wave moves relative to an observer, the observer notices a change in the frequency of wave. This change is called the Doppler effect. Consider a source emitting a wave such as a light or sound of frequency V moving away from an observer at velocity V. The successive crest of the light waves will reach the observer at longer intervals than if the observer were at rest. The frequency of the wave will appear to the observer slightly lower than it would if the surge were at rest. If the surge is approaching, the frequency will be higher. In sound, this effect is an everyday experience. For example, when the ambulance that is sounding its siren moves towards a person who is standing on the edge of the road, the sound will be heard even higher. But when the ambulance moves away, the sound of the siren will get smaller. And here, the end of the material. Those are the wave behavior explanation of mine. I apologize if there are some mistakes in my wording. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked it. Have a nice day or night everyone. Goodbye.